Hello everyone and welcome back to another Gotham review. This time we've got season two, episode five, and wow, wow, wow. We already knew Firefly was gonna be in this episode. I was a little surprised as to how they went about it. So I got about five things I want to talk about. In specific, if anything comes back to my mind later on in the episode, I guess we'll find out. First thing I want to talk about, it's the obviousness. Holy crap. Let's talk about Penguin first. Okay, his paranoia is going over the top. It's just been absolutely crazy with him lately. All the way to the point where after he finds out, out about the, uh, the Duma family or Duma, and figures out that it's actually Theo Galavan's family, and that they want revenge on the Waynes. He's like, I have a plan. I can use this to get revenge, and to get my mother back. And goes so far as to take this new plan into motion to take everything and do what a few of us were, uh, we kind of saw this coming after we said, well, you're going to have to earn his trust, seize his hand on the table, and then, pff, pff, whoa, talk about the psychotic, if Butch is actually staying with him after this, guys got more loyalty than I would. <laughs> Someone cuts off my hand, I'm going to go swinging, and I'm going to swing hard, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Uh, when they were talking about the, the, the Dumoff family, I was thinking that, yes, it, they changed their name to either Gallivan or maybe to Cobblepot. I thought that it would have been interesting, but I realized, you know, they've been focusing on the Theo Duma thing lately, so it's, it, it made more sense. And then we got the Strike Force, you know, that... They're really good cops, but of course, because of Firefly, the lady Firefly, who's been abused by these people, who uh, she calls her brothers, even though technically they're not even related, they turn her into the Firefly, or at least the first incarnation of Firefly, because in the comic books we all know that Garfield Lens is Firefly. We've seen it all over the place. We've seen it. In the Arkham games, we've read it in the comics, we've seen it in Arrow. I mean, it's just all over the place saying Garfield Lint. That's Firefly. And then, of course, we got the death at the very end with Firefly, the girl whose name I can't really remember, but she absolutely killed that cop. I can't remember his name for the life of me. We only had him for two episodes, so I'm not going to remember him for a while, but even so. And I'm just going to say this about the idiot who decided to take the explosives and stick them in his pants and then turn around and shoot at cops. What do cops do when you pull a gun on them? They shoot at you. What happens when they shoot at you? Uh, they're liable to hit you and whatever it is you're carrying, including explosives. Stupidity, guys. <laughs> Piece of advice. If you're ever running from someone who's who you think is going to shoot you, don't try to fire back at them if you got a bomb in your pants. Uh, what an idiot. Okay, so all the, the episode was really, really straightforward. It was... I, I, I had a moment where uh, I just... I just kind of laughed when the rocket launcher came in. He's like, was that a rocket launcher? Welcome to Gotham. I'm like, yeah, oh, you don't know half of it. Uh, but this was a pretty good episode. They're foreshadowing on a possible return of Fish Mooney now. All we know for sure is that she fell over the cliff into the water with a bullet wound. Now, this does not necessarily mean that she is 100% confirmed dead. However, it has been more than a month ever since she bit the big one and for all we know, she somehow survived and will reappear for season two, maybe around the mid-season finale. I don't know. It's up in the air. Uh, 
But as far as we know, the com the uh, complete story, the absolute confirmed story, is that Fish is dead. But it is possible because we've seen some pretty crazy stuff in the DC universe. It is possible that she could come back for whatever reason. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that's just absolutely crazy. So, all in all, this episode was very straightforward, and it back, uh, it just foreshadowed the relationship between the Dumas or the Galavans and the Wayne family very well. And it sort of threw in a little bit of the Elliot family, which uh, the comic book fans were, were all thinking, oh, it's Hush. It's Hush. It's that psychopathic kid that Bruce Wayne knocked the living out of. Which was awesome, by the way. I know a few bullies from my younger days who I would have loved to just go pop, 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 bam! <laughs> but, uh, good episode altogether. I want to give this one a, uh, I want to give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I thought it was a really strong episode. It kept its focus. It kept the attention that I was hoping for. And it kept the story going and filled in a few of the blanks that we've been wondering. It's like, why is he even wanting to do this? Why go through all of this? And now we know. We got Penguin chopping off Butch's hand, which... Again, I say, if that were to happen to me, someone chops off my left hand, I'm going to go down swinging and chopping something back. Particularly because I'm left-handed, so that would suck. <laughs> Let me know what you guys saw of this episode in the description below. Or not in the description below, in the comment section below. I'm sorry, guys. My speech is way off today. As always, follow me on Facebook in the description below. I'm going to be leaving a link to... A future video, I'm working on a Halloween special, just trying to get it all finished up. As always, be sure to stick... Uh, I told you my speech is like... <laughs> join me tomorrow for Flash. Be sure to join me on Wednesday for Arrow and possibly Friday, if not Saturday, for Ruby. Because Ruby... Is definitely showing on Saturday for everyone, but for sponsors, I think it's showing up on Friday. So, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I've been Kedricks, as always, people. Have an awesome day. Be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. Share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. It gets this channel going, keeps it strong. Absolutely love every last one of you guys for watching. Peace out. Keep the Gotham hype going. Awesomeness. I'll catch you guys later.